I am Jock Slade, and these are your top stories of the day from Adidas with a new lifestyle silhouette, a luxury take from a sneaker customizer, and Nike suing three former designers. This is Today in Sneaks. Let's start with Adidas. Earlier this year, the brand introduced the Adidas SL Loop Runner, a shoe I really liked. The shoe is based on a podium shoe the brand created back in 1972, and this year they created a lifestyle version of the shoe. Taking things a step further, Adidas flipped the shoe into a moccasin. Seen here in black and what they are calling Mesa, the shoe attains the shape and the feel of the SL Loop, but this version is a lot more lifestyle oriented. These are actually available now at several retailers, including Extra Butter for $90. Every once in a while, a sneaker will come along that really catches my eye, and today that happened with a Nike Air Tech Challenge to Bashimi. Now, the shoe was commissioned by John Bashimi, and Day Customs takes the style of John's luxury offering and mixes them with the sportswear style of Andre Agassi. The black over the white outsole extends the luxury theme, and the reverse straps takes John's design into account. Speaking of John's designs, they usually go for about $800 on their own, so this is definitely not a cheap custom job. No word on if there will be more, but you can definitely check on Dane Customs website dankcustoms.com if you want to make your own. And finally, the big news of the day is from Nike, who is suing Dennis Dekovic, Mark Miner, and Mark Dolce, the three designers who left the company in September for Adidas. Nike is claiming that Adidas, in concert with the three designers, broke their non-compete clause contracts by allegedly stealing commercial secrets, consulting with Adidas while still employed with the company, and that they provided Adidas with Nike's future plans. Additionally, Nike is seeking $10 million in damages and claims Dekovic, Miner, and Dolce allegedly copied sensitive information about designs and documents from their computers, which included an unreleased sneaker made for a sponsored athlete and basically tried to cover their tracks. Now, I'm sure there will be more to this as it develops, so stay tuned and I'll update you as soon as I hear more. All right, quick update. Uh, Dennis Dekovic, who's actually one of the designers, issued this following statement on his IG regarding the Nike suit. During our entire careers at Nike, we gave nothing but our maximum effort. We collectively poured in hours, passion, and dedication beyond what was asked or expected of us, often prioritizing our jobs over our families. Until the very end, we stayed engaged, loyal, and committed. We have a tremendous amount of respect for our colleagues and Nike and would never do anything to harm them. We find Nike's allegations hurtful because they are either false or misleading half-truths. We did not take trade secrets or intellectual property when we departed in September. We are looking forward to bringing new and innovative ideas and designs to Adidas when our non-complete agreement expires. As I said before, stay tuned for more as this story develops. As for the question of the video, simple question, I wanna know what are the top five runners of 2014? Let me know your thoughts right down in the comments. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the show today. If you haven't already, oh, I'll show you what I'm rocking. This is what I'm wearing today. Uh, just a simple Chuck Taylor. So nothing big, nothing fancy, but I do like to rock these every once in a while. So uh, again, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. And as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Stuff, stuff to cover. Stuff like Custom J's, Crazy Fast Internet, Lil Wayne, some Kobe 9 EXTs, and why it sucks to be on Dish. I am Jock Slade, and this is In Case You Missed It. This is gonna be the best theme song.